Welcome to this Excel quickie where I'm going to show you how to view only the unique records from a list in Excel. Now we're not going to be deleting duplicates or deleting any data, just viewing the uniques. So here I have a very tiny simple list. Let's say I want to get a unique list of the manufacturers right here. Well, easy peasy. So first select anywhere in the data or select all of the data. At this point it doesn't matter. Go to the data tab, go to the sort and filter group. Go to Advanced, open up this little window. It can be kind of confusing if you're not used to it. And what we want to do is filter the list in place for now. And we want to check Unique Records Only. But before we hit OK, you want to make sure that if you are not going to be filtering on the leftmost column, or even if you are, sometimes what it does, is the list range, it will expand to include all of the data. And that's why I said it doesn't matter if you select it all or not at this point. What you want to do here is to make sure that you include only the columns that should be unique. So right now, part and manufacturer together create only unique columns because the part numbers are unique. But I want to do it on the manufacturer's column, so I'm going to change it from A1 to B8 to B1 to B8. So you do have to take notice of that, make sure it's OK, then hit OK. And now we have a list with just a unique set of manufacturers, ABC, XYZ, Acme. And you can see the data has not been deleted. We can see these blue columns showing that the data has been filtered, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 6. So we have some hidden rows. In this case, when we filtered using the advanced filter, we do not have the drop down arrows up here. Now I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. Let us go back to advanced. One cool thing is that I can put the unique list somewhere else. So this time, I'm going to hit the up arrow so I can select the data I would like to be unique. OK. Then I'm going to click Copy to another location. Then go down here to Copy to, click in there. Then anywhere in the spreadsheet, select a cell where you would like your data to end up. Hit Unique Records Only. OK. And now, none of the data has been filtered. We simply have a list, a unique list of all the manufacturers. That's actually, I think, a lot cooler than the filter because now I can go ahead, I can take this data somewhere, I can do whatever the heck I want with it. Don't have to worry about filtering, unfiltering, hiding, unhiding rows, or anything like that. Now the last thing, which is sometimes helpful, click anywhere in here, Data tab, and click the regular filter button. We get the drop down arrow, arrows, and we can see down here is a list of the unique values. If you have a small list, that can be helpful. I can see, OK, just three, A, B, C, Acme, X, Y, Z. But if you have a very large list or thousands of rows, it can, well, it's just not going to work very well in this little filter pop-up. But that's the third way. So just click the drop-down arrow after hitting the regular filter button on the data tab. And you can see only a list of unique values down here for the column. And that's three ways to view a unique list of records in Excel.